Hello everyone, I'm your host Jeremy Lukasiewicz and this is Shine City, the brightest destination on this side of the solar system. And today we are going to be doing a sunrise sunset composition. Now the materials you'll be needing to do this kind of painting is a nice big tall sheet of paper, a palette, a cup of water, some brushes, and what I'm doing, or what colors I'm using, is just red, yellow, blue, and white. This is really all you need. Red, yellow, and blue are the primary colors, and with this you can make green, orange, and purple. By mixing those three colors, you can get the other three secondary colors. This is pretty much the whole color wheel, and this is all we need to make any composition that we want. But today, we're going to be doing something really special and that is a sunrise sun set. And the reason I love to do this is because the sunrise sunset, you can't deny that it's one of the most beautiful moments that the natural world has to offer. And let, let's honor that moment in nature today by putting it on this sheet of paper and I want to show you how to do it. It's very simple. There are it really only takes about three shapes and those shapes are a square, a rectangle on the bottom, a square, a rectangle on the top. And the third shape would be a circle which represents the sun that goes anywhere you want above the horizon line. It really doesn't have to be anything special, anything specific, whatever you feel like doing whatever you feel like making. This is really up to you. The, this is why I love this composition is it's just so simple and straightforward and it gives you so much wiggle room to really make whatever you want it to look like. Yeah, so, something so special about this is you can remember those times you've been to a beach or a coastal state park and you're looking out at that water and you're seeing that sun rise above the horizon line. You're seeing the sun recede behind that horizon line. And it's just such a special moment. And it's a moment that I want to replicate and I hope you want to replicate it with me as well. So grab your brushes, grab your paints, do whatever you got to do. Get yourself in that creative mindset and let's, let's make something happen, okay? So step one. Let's just, let's just jump right into it. Pick, pick where your horizon line wants to be. Where do you want your horizon line? It could be down here. It could be up here. I tend to like to be right around in the middle. So let's make it happen. So we got this. I got my horizon line. I got my halfway mark. Let's keep going. I don't see why. Can't keep going. Gonna load up my brush with this just pure blue. I'm not, I haven't even mixed a color yet. This is really, really simple. Whatever kind of paints you have, I'm using acrylic. You can use oil if you want. You can use watercolor if you want. You can use gouache if you want. <laughs> but I am using acrylic water-based paints. Brand is called Craft Smart. I like the way that sounds. 
Now, let's just keep going. Let's fill this ocean with water. Let's fill the space, give it character, give it an identity, you know? So, I am convinced, I am convinced that this is a body of water. So now, that means it's time to move on to the next step, and that is going into the sky. Now, if you saw for the first episode, I jumped right in with pure yellow with a dirty brush, and it came out a bit greenish. Now, I'm going to switch it up this time. I'm going to do a sky blue. I'm going to start with a sky blue. <clears throat> so, I got that. Let's just... Let's have some fun. Let's fill in the sky and see what happens. Okay? So, I think that is a beautiful color. <coughs> now, let's keep that going. I'm working from the outside in. Now when you're dealing with the sky, there's, there's a lot that can go on, there's a lot that can happen. There's the sun, the sky, the clouds, there's a lot of subject matter. But right now, I'm kind of going for a clear sky. I want it to look like it is right now. There's not a single cloud in the sky. It's a beautiful day today. Today's Friday, November 4th of 2022. I'm in the afternoon filming this for you out in the garden, out in the fields, I'm out in nature. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, I'm going to, I'm going to grab my white from my pocket. Yep. This is what I want to do. I want to put a little bit more white in there. So we get some variation. Something about art is it loves variation. The eye loves variety. So let's give the eye something to appreciate. Now you might be thinking, Jeremy, this is boring. Look at all this blue, there's only blue here. So what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some clouds. And now to add those clouds, I'm going to tap some red, tap some yellow, and I'm gonna mix it in with that. And that's gonna create Some darkness it's gonna add it's gonna add a kind of appearance of a shadow and when you're looking up in the sky and you see a kind of dark color you see what appears to be a shadow it's it's got to be a cloud what else could it be if you're looking up in the sky and you see a shadowy form, it's gotta be a cloud, it's gotta be a bird, it's gotta be something like that that's blocking those sun rays. So, let's just tap it in, you know? Don't have to be Michelangelo to do this. No. Just tapping it in. I want to give the appearance of long distance. Wait, when you you look out there, you like you got your binoculars on and you look out at the horizon line and you see those little clouds, those little clouds that are just sitting along the horizon line. That's what I'm doing right here. I just want it to feel like there's little baby clouds out there. 
And now I think I want to lighten that up a bit more and then maybe put in a bit of white. Excuse me, I want to put in a little bit of yellow with the white. So I'm just going to tap into the yellow and mix that together. We got a really light color here. Now, as I tap this color in, I'm seeing all these darker colors that I just put in and I'm going to be tapping them, tapping this lighter color right on top of it. So it gives that appearance of form. It gives the appearance of form. So let's do it. Let's make it happen. Tapping that white on it. Okay. Maybe even up here. <sighs> All right. I like that. So just by filling in that sky, you can already see that the sun is beginning to have a place to stay. We created an environment for that sun. Okay. Now I'm going to get my yellow. We're moving on to part three already. Moving on to the sun. I, it doesn't have to be anything special. With a dirty brush, I just grab some yellow and put it there. Now, I personally feel like this is a bit big. This is a bit big and I want to feel like the sun is a bit more of a fun size, smaller circle, which would be about like that big. I would say I want the sun to be about that big. Now I'm gonna fill around it with this nice warm color. Okay. Here we go. So, I think that looks beautiful. Now what I'm going for is, I'm, gonna, I'm going for a small dot of white there and I want it to look like there's radiation coming off of it. There's sun rays that are expanding around that. So, now that you know what I want to do, I'm going to try and do that. So I'm going to put white in with the yellow on the palette and mix that together. My, I actually, I do want to clean my brush. So let's just get a paper towel, give that a little scrub. Okay. Now, mixing that white in with the yellow, this is, what I, this is what I want my son to look like, okay? Just relax and have fun with it, okay? I love that shape. That's beautiful right there. That's something special. Okay, I'm going to grab some more white, grab my white and mix it in with that, okay, all right, I like that, now let's incorporate the red. Let's get a little crazy. <clears throat> Got that. It's almost like a pink color I'm getting here, and I like that. So let's... I'm going to pull lines all around the sun. And I want that to feel like it's radiating. I want to feel like that sun is expanding its sun rays out to us. Now, I'm going to execute.
Hope you see how I'm doing that. So you can replicate it if you so desire. This is a beautiful technique I'm using. Now, something that happens naturally out in the world is when those sun ra 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 excuse me, when those sun rays are flying out into the world, out into the sun, it can hit the it can hit the clouds. Those clouds can wear it, and you can see it. So, I see this bundle of clouds up here. I want them to catch that. I want them to catch those rays. I want them to catch it. Yeah. Just like that. Okay. See how that gives it the appearance of the clouds just like floating. The clouds just being involved in the sky. It gives them life. It gives them character. It, it helps everything kind of just work together in... Let me think of the word. It helps everything work together as an ecosystem. So these, these aren't just colors sprayed on a canvas. This is an ecosystem. This is, this is a body of work that is just, it's a space that's working together. Now, I, I love that color so much. I wanna bring it up here too. I wanna bring that up here too. Gorgeous. Such a beautiful day. So, I love that sky. I'm going to leave it. <laughs> but, I actually, I want to do a little bit more on that sun. I want to just add some more variety. How, and what I mean by variety is, we got this nice yellow in the middle, and then we got that pinkish orange surrounding it. I want to just, I want to incorporate just a little bit more yellow to bring a bit more diversity. There are very few things that contribute to this world as diversity does. There's very few things. And I hope you could really just see what that with that extra color just added to that, the character, it, it, I hope you can just see. And if you can't see the changes that that just made, it, it'll come to you with patience, with time. It'll come to you and I promise that. There's so much beauty in the world that you can't expect to see it all at once. You can't expect to see everything that happens in this world. There's just too much to bear. So don't try and bear it all. We're all just doing the best we can. So, step, step one was the water, the body of water. Step two was that sky. Step three was establishing that sun. And I wanna move on to step four, which is the, uh, the reflections in the water. Now, the reflections in the water is definitely one of my favorite moments in these sunrise sunset compositions. And the reasoning for that is, I love to use the word shimmering. When you, when I see that water shimmering in person, it's, it's really so beautiful because it's a combination of the constant motion of the water and that consistent reflection, that shine from the sun. So when those two elements work together, it shimmers. That, I, don't know, I don't know how else to explain it, but they're shimmering. And money can't buy that. So, I took that same color from my palette that I used in, that, in those sun rays. And I'm just going to tap it in. I'm just going to tap it in. 
I I would be lying if I said I cared right now. I would I would straight up be lying to you. I just want to I just want to have fun right now. I really just want to have fun. Okay. Yeah. I love that. So, I think what I want to do is um get purple moving. Let's start Let's start u utilizing the color purple. So I got some red on my brush. I'm gonna mix it in with that blue that I had before from the water. Now, this is a very light purple. This is a very light purple. And watch what I'm gonna do. I'm emphasizing these, this shimmering. The shimmering of the water, I want to emphasize it. I want to elevate it with this purple. Okay? That's exactly what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to elevate these elements on the sheet. Okay? All right. I like that a lot. Now let's... Um, let me think. I want to add, I want to add those moments of pop. It almost looks like a star. I'm, I'm remembering those moments of looking at the shimmering and there are these beautiful moments of of white dots, of little white stars, and I want to I want to try and capture that. So I'm coming in with a light color. I actually want more white, which is okay. I hope you don't mind me doing this. Pretty much going for a pure white, but I got some yellow in there. It's muddied up. It's not a pure white. Because when you use a pure white, it actually is a little selfish. When you use a pure white or a pure black, they're selfish colors because they don't really interact with the rest of the composition, with the rest of the colors. And the reason for that is because You can't, you need a hue showing up. You need something on the color wheel to be there to kind of interact. When it's just pure white or pure black, it kind of sits on its own. It kind of doesn't interact. It doesn't really mesh with everything else. It doesn't contribute to the ecosystem, which is okay, but that's just not what I'm going for. Every color serves its purpose, but right now, Right now, I want these colors to work together as a team, as a lovely team. Okay, let's keep going. All right, boom, I'm done with that. So, step one was the water, step two is the sky, step three was the sun, step four was the shimmering, step five, let's build on this water let's build on this water and i want to kind of i want to keep this a bright composition i don't want to come in here with too dark of a purple or a brown you know <coughs> excuse me i want to come in with like a nice light shadow and then go on top of that with a nice bright light a bright light color so how am I going to mix this 
bright shadow color. I'm going to get some blue and I'm going to put that with my red right by that white color that I was just using. And now watch this. Watch, watch how the colors work when you mix colors together. It's so beautiful. Now I want more of a yellow. Actually want more blue to achieve the color that I'm looking for. We're right here. Doing artwork. What else could you want to be doing right now? Beautiful. Okay. Getting a bit of red. Um, I want more blue. Let's get all the blue. Tap in the red, contribute it to the blue. Now we got a very bluey purple. Let's apply it. Okay. Keep it going. Grabbing the blue, putting in the yellow. That's going to make green. Now, with my already dirtied brush. Mix a beautiful green. Green is the color of love. Red, to my knowledge, is the color of passion. Now, remember what I was talking about before of uh, the ecosystem and how colors contribute to one another? Look how that green just really... Do I even need to explain it? Because what is understood does not need to be explained. And this green, it really just expands the character of the painting. Makes it beautiful. It contributes to what it is. Okay. Okay. All right. I like that. So. make something happen. Getting blue. Now I'm going to I'm going to get a lot of white here. I actually got a good amount of white with the blue. And now with this green brush, I'm going to mix that and put all this light blue right up there. Wow. <laughs> Look how that looks. 
that really just it relates with that sky so lovely that is so fantastic I love that okay I like that. It's it's almost like a staircase walking up to the sky just to accentuate that sun. <laughs> it's beautiful. Now, I want to utilize this red here. So let's grab that, let's grab that red and mix it in with everything. Just let's see what happens. Now I'm going to bring that red down here and I actually want to surround the shimmers with this red so that red and yellow really make something special. Okay. Okay. So let's see. Now red and green are complementary colors. They work together very nicely and I hope I hope that's what's happening. Okay. I want more blue. So, we got the blue. Excuse me. Okay. Really nice. <sighs> I want to put more light colors in the bottom. That's what I'm missing. So White. Got paint on my finger. That's okay. Dirty brush. Mixing it in with the yellow and white. Now let's get in here. Let's get in here again. This is just what we're doing right now. Okay. Getting a little crazy here. Okay. Want to look sunny. Yeah. Yeah, see, I'm just making decisions in the moment and I'm loving what's happening when I take these chances. Okay, so you take chances, take chances. Money can't buy chances. Okay, all right. <laughs> This is a done painting. It's done right now. And I hope you had fun watching. I hope you had fun learning. This has been Shine City and I hope you enjoyed yourself as much as I did.
salute.